Shalom. Welcome to E-Teacher Biblical. My name is Sigal. We will be learning lesson number 23 now, which is a review lesson. And again, we will continue with the story of Naomi, the story of Ruth and Naomi. And we are at the stage where Naomi had lost her husband and her two sons, and she's only with her two daughters-in-law. One of them, if you remember, is Orpa, and the other one is Ruth. Again, you remember that we discussed the names in Hebrew. Orpa also means something in Hebrew. It means the back of the neck. And Ruth may be friendship, Reut. This is one interpretation of her name. And as you know, what happened later on, Orpa did leave Naomi, and Naomi stayed with Ruth only. Uh, it, Ruth, Naomi urged both of them to leave and to go back to their families, but Ruth insisted to stay with her mother-in-law. So here they returned to Bethlehem after they heard that things are quite okay, the famine is over. Let's read the very first chapter, the very first verse, Ruth 1.19, and we go through the verse and also translate it and show some phenomena that we have learned before. Vayehi kevoana bet lechem vatehom kol ha'ir alehen vatomarna hazot Naomi, so now, Vayehi, Kevoana, as they entered Bethlehem, Vatehom, made a steer, the whole city, or it actually means the, the entire women in the city. They, this is an onomatopoeic word in Hebrew, Vatehom, something like, mm, they were so surprised to see Naomi the way she looked, way older. She was, she belonged to a very rich family before, when she was in Bethlehem. Now she looked with very simple clothes, very simple woman now, way older, miserable. So every, everyone in the city was very surprised to see the way she looked now. Alehen, over them, vatomarna, and they said, Hazot, Naomi, is this Naomi? So what do we have here? In related to grammar, we have several things we want to notice. First of all, you see the highlighted words here, kol ha'ir, you know. What is the phenomena here? Right, construct chain. The whole city, or all of the city, if you want to translate it this way. But you can guess this is a construct chain. What else do you want to see? You want to see the interrogative hey in the word hazot. How do we know it's an interrogative hey? Notice that the hey has the chatef patach, the reduced vowel underneath. So that's a question in Hebrew. Is this Naomi? Let's go to the next slide to see some other phenomena. Now Naomi is replying to the women in the city. And she tells them, Vatomer alehen, al tikrena li Naomi, krena li mara, ki hemar shadai li meod. And she said to them, Don't call me Naomi. Call me Mara, bitter, because made bitter, Shaddai, to me, very. I'm, I went a literal order just for you to be able to go also with me for literal translations. What we can see here, we can see various things. First of all, you can see that under Naomi, you have a reduced vowel, you have the chatef kamatz. And you can also see some other thing, things here that may have been noticed already. Notice that the word tikrena would appear with mater dactionis hey at the end, 
but Karena appears only with noon, no matter at the end. You know, it's going to happen. It's going to happen quite often. Now, again, look at the word Shaddai. Shaddai, you, you will see that the translation is leaving it as Shaddai. Some translations would translate it as Lord Almighty. If you go through a many Jewish home, you see that the, at their doorpost, they have a tiny box, and this box is called the mezuzah. And on top of the mezuzah, you find those, this word, Shaddai. And inside, there is a scroll with portions from the Bible. And the people, when they come, when they enter their house, they tend, they put their hand and they kiss this mezuzah. So this is the word, you can look for it on the mezuzah of uh, any synagogue or any Jewish house. Just a tiny an additional verse to see, because we want just to notice the katal verbal form. So, ani melea halachti, verekam heshivani adonai. This is from Ruth 1.21. Just let us look for the verb. The verb is halachti, which means I went, Again, that's a katal verbal form. We know that because it takes a suffix. And this suffix is I. We can find easily the subject at the end. T is I. So, as to Daraba. And I will see you next lesson. And have a wonderful time. Leitraut.